Thunder content. So this is another AI content generator. So you can use AI to automatically generate content for your website or other articles that you're writing. So this can really help if you're not an experienced writer or maybe English is your second language. This can really help people out. There's lots of good deals on AppSumo for these AI content writers. So I really want to figure out what's the best content writer in 2022. So this is the latest one I'm testing. So if this sounds interesting, then keep watching. So Thunder Content has a deal over on AppSumo.com. I'll put a link in the description here. It's got a lifetime deal starting at $59. The $59 deal gives you 10,000 words per month. I'll scroll down here. Here we go. We've got license tier one, 10,000 per month. But license tier two is interesting because we get unlimited words per month. So there's not many AI writers that actually will give you unlimited words per month. So this is pretty interesting. It is $139, but again... If you're not paying monthly, it's just one purchase price up front. I think this is pretty good value if you really need unlimited words per month. If you're um, writing a lot of blogs, if you're running a private blog network, that kind of thing, then this could be a handy tool if it can generate useful blog posts. So this is what I'm going to test out at the moment. This is what it looks like as you log in. This is your dashboard. You can go ahead and start writing a new article just there. And straight away, we'll get a choice of language. So the obvious languages are here, English, Spanish, French. They do have Chinese here. Notably, they don't have Hindi and no Arabic. So those are two big languages that would have been useful. But let's just go with English for this demonstration. We can go ahead and type our content here for our article. So you'll notice that there are the tools here. There's only a few tools. It's very focused on just writing long form top content. So let's go ahead and start with the titles. I am going to write again about my watch, the Vostok Amphibia. So I know a little bit about this. I think it's a good topic. Say you're writing product reviews and you want to write about a specific product. I think this might be a good example to test here. So let's go uh, Vostok Amphibia and see what the actual title suggestions are here. So it's come up with Vostok Amphibia first watch in space. It must have thought of the Vostok satellite rather than the actual Vostok watch. So let's go ahead and make this more specific. Let's call it the Vostok Amphibia dive watch here. So give the AI a little bit more of a hint on how to do this. All right, these are way better. So Vostok Amphibia, the best dive watch under $100. Vostok Amphibia, the classic Russian diver. Vostok Amphibia dive watch review. These are perfect. I think we will go with this one. I think the Vostok Amphibia definitely is a good contender under $100 as the best dive watch. So that seems pretty good. Let's go back and do our introduction. So from here, we can just extract the title by clicking that button there and generate the introduction based on the title that we've chosen. So it'll go ahead, use AI to create our introduction. Let's insert that in here. So this isn't too bad. It said under zero where it should say 100. So I'll just correct that. AI writers are terrible with numbers. So always double check the numbers that they generate. So I've noticed that with all the AI writers that I've tested. Um, firstly, it's a dive watch that is in itself is a good reason. I'd say a little bit more specific. Firstly, it's a, a vintage style, a Russian dive watch. I think that's a bit better. And secondly, it, and where it breaks off here, you can actually generate more content just by clicking that and it'll continue on with the paragraph. All right, so this isn't too bad. I don't like all of it, so I'm just going to delete the bits that I don't like. So um, let's edit this down a little bit more. And all Arabic numeral. That is not correct. It's got European numerals. So that is interesting for a dive watch. Usually they just have um, dots, but this actually has numerals on each marker. So that is worth mentioning. But overall, the style of the paragraph and the writing isn't too bad. Let's go and see what the outlines it can create are. So let's generate some outlines, extract the title and generate these outlines. So these aren't particularly useful. I might actually simplify this and just call it Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch. Just to make sure it stays on topic here. So you do need to play around with the input and that will create different outputs. So these look a little bit better. So this isn't too bad. Let's insert these ones and it's added them as headings, which is handy. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can create some more based on the specifications. See what we get from that. So it has given us some specifications. We'd have to fact check those numbers and make sure those are correct. Let's go ahead and try this one, the watch history, and let's go back and let's do the paragraphs. So what we can do is take our Vostok watch history, use that one and generate a paragraph and see what it comes up with for our history. 
Now that's actually a pretty good paragraph there. I might actually make it more specific. So let's go Vostok Amphibia and see what we get here. So that's not bad as well. It's talking a bit more about the specifications. So let's go with the first one there. Um, yeah, so uh, Vostok Amphibia. So let's, let's just be specific here. So I just change that to Vostok Amphibia there and that all looks good. Um, the year is wrong there, it's 1967. So just check numbers and um, that looks all good. One thing I have noticed is that it is fairly short in the content that it generates. We can actually go back here and we've got settings and we can actually change that to length generation. So rather than just getting one or two sentences, we can go to get uh, two or three sentences. So this might be a little bit better, setting it to long. There's also creativity that's set to the middle. Um, if you set it to high creativity, it can get a bit random and off topic. If you set it to low creativity, um, it can be more repetitive. So I think leaving on middle, see how you go. Um, but yeah, I've set that to long content now, so we should get a bit more out of that. I might go ahead and generate some more and see what we get. All right, so this is not too bad. The Vostok Amphibian name comes from the original dive watch. It was designed for underwater use and to be used in conditions that would damage normal watches. The watch is well built, reasonably priced, and has a great design. The watch is made of stainless steel and has... Okay, let's see what else it can do. All right, so it's continued on, but the rest of the stuff isn't great here. So um, the watch is made of stainless steel, has a clear ion plastic face. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna just going to change, get rid of the stuff I don't like there. The watch is made of stainless steel and the watch band is made of rubber uh, or steel. And the battery lasts up to five years. It doesn't have a battery, so you really have to fact check these AI writers. However, the watch does have some flaws. The watch is large and difficult to read. Yeah, that's not really true. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like this. Don't really wanna deal with these two. Let's go with the specifications and see what we get for that. So we're gonna do paragraphs here. Let's do specifications. Well, these are great. So I quite like this one. I'm gonna put this straight in there and the watch is powered by mechanical movement and is water resistant. Let's see what else we can get out of that. That's all good. It starts talking about digital watches for some reason at the end there, but the rest of this is okay. Um, it is, actually is resistant to 200 meters, so that is correct. It costs about, um, not 200, but between 70 to 150. I think depending on the model. And it's available in several different styles. That's cool. All right, so we're going to need a few more headings. So let's get, go ahead and get some more outlines. So let's go Vostok Amphibia uh, FAQ. So Vostok Amphibia FAQ. Let's see what we get for some outlines here. All right, so these look like they could be useful. Let's copy some of those in there. Um, I've already done history. Characteristics might be interesting. How to choose. Final conclusion. Um, uh, introduction we already did. Um, Vostok Amphibia is one of the most popular dive. Okay, let's just use these three. Um, let's make them H2s. Cool. All right. The characteristics of the Vostok Amphibia. Let's go and do our paragraph and let's see what we get. So this is okay. We can use this. We'll, we'll need to fact check it. It is more about the specifications and the characteristics and specifications are pretty similar concepts. So we get, might just continue on with our specification paragraph. So that looks okay. Um, the only thing is the bezel is engraved with, with markers, not numbers. So uh, I'll show you what I mean. The This is the bezel on the outside and there's markers, red and black. So those are the bezel markers. Sometimes watches have numbers there and sometimes they have markers. So in this case, change the fact. Um, make sure you fact check with the AI. They do really get facts wrong quite often. Um, dial is made of mineral glass. Again, it's made of acrylic. Uh, acrylic has a, mm, let's see what if we can get any more content out of this. Now it's just started trying to repeat itself. So I don't think we need to mention these things. Um, it's a variety of case sizes which is good, 38 to 44. That's actually true, I think, maybe 42. The dial is available in various shapes and colors, white, black, gray, and brown, and has a mineral, no. Okay, 
So that's all good. I think we've got enough specifications here. The other really good thing to do when you are researching headings is actually just type something into Google and just type Vostok Amphibia FAQ and you can just see what the snippets are and maybe use these as your headings and flesh those out because uh, these are the things that Google are looking for in terms of answers. The other thing you could just do is search the, the keyword by itself and you'll get some important things that people are searching for. So if you um, can address all these topics, then Google's obviously going to um, give you a better SEO in terms of uh, the search intent if you're addressing all these concerns. So is Vosdoc Amphibia a good watch? I think because it's a, such a cheap watch, people are concerned. How long is it going to last? Is it good? Are they bad? Are they good quality? So a lot of people are concerned with the quality. So let's let's um, look at the quality here. So is it a good watch? And let's let's be specific here because I think people are concerned about is it a good quality watch? And go ahead and let's pop a paragraph in here. Um, I'll put one down here. Is it a good quality watch? And let's do the heading and let's go ahead and create that paragraph. So that's fine, we can pop that in. Doesn't give us very much content. We can see if we can flesh that out again with the content generator. All right, so it gives you an error that has it needs at least 150 characters, so about 30 words before it can generate. So I might say, I have had my uh, Vostok Amphibia for over two years and um, let's see and it has survived many swims at the pool dives in the ocean even falls into the sink the only thing that's broken is the glass which is easily replaceable another good quality of this watch is it's very affordable the lowest price i found for this watch is 70 dollars. so this is pretty cool if i was actually writing this i might not mention the bit about breaking the glass um, maybe you could say you replace the strap or something simple like that rather than the glass. Um, that's cool. So the other thing they talk about is accuracy and reliability. So I think with a cheap mechanical movement, people are concerned that it's not going to be accurate. So let's let's talk about the movement accuracy. Uh, let's go ahead and pop put this in. Fosdok Amphibia uh, movement. Fosdok Amphibia is. Let's see what we get here. So I'm not crazy about this. Let's see if we can get another one. If we click it again, let's see if it generates something else. Um, even in harsh environments, it's accurate. The watch is designed to be tough and durable. That's that's okay. I think that's a good question. Yeah, um, how is it accurate? Is the Vostok Amphibia accurate? So let's put that in as a heading. The other thing we could do is just say how accurate it is in here. Like I know. Um, the accuracy is plus or minus 15 seconds and see if we can talk about that as a paragraph so I've just gone ahead and said it Vostok MVB is accurate to plus or minus 15 seconds per day Let's see if we get a decent paragraph out of that Okay, let's copy that and paste that in All right, so the paragraph's okay. It didn't mention my key um, Stats in there, but let's see if we press it again and see what we get. This is okay uh, It's accurate to plus or minus. So let's go ahead and do that um, this bit's all right, but let's just say this. Um, it's not the most accurate watch in the world. It is accurate. Okay. Cool. So again, fact checking, but this is okay. I might try one more before we wrap this up because we're nearly at 500 words already. So, um, what was I looking at here? Uh, how long do they last? I think that's an interesting question. Let's go. How long does a Vostok Amphibia last? <laughs> Vostok Amphibia lasts for 100 years. Let's try again. All right, so that's okay. But the only real usable bit is the first sentence. It's a reliable watch that can last for decades. I think we'll just pop that back in under the good quality watch. And let's, uh, let's leave it at this. So I've come up with 471 words. It's taken me around 20 minutes to do this. Now, this topic is not the easiest topic. It is a little bit on the technical side with some specifications in history, uh, dates and numbers. So not the easiest one to deal with, but uh, not too bad. I do think it's good to test the AI with something a little bit more difficult than very general 
ideas about pets or exercise or things like very general topics. I think get very specific. Imagine that you're writing like a, an Amazon product review blog where you really need to get into the exact details of a very specific topic. So I wanted to give a more realistic test. I think it's done okay. I will tell you that the previous ones that I worked on, I worked on um, Typely AI and um, AI SEO. The content generators there could not handle this topic when I tested it. So um, this one is definitely better than those two. I don't think it's quite as good as Pepper Type and Rider, but it's close, I think. Um, this is definitely usable. I think for more general topics, this is going to be okay. Um, for a lot of products, it's going to do decently, but you do have to make sure you're giving it decent um, inputs to get decent outputs. That's probably the, the key here. The one thing I didn't love was that the paragraphs aren't particularly long. Um, I noticed in Pepper Type and Writer, I could get 80 to 100. I'm probably only getting 50 or 60 words per output here. But content is okay. I think um, having that unlimited word count is something that you don't get everywhere. So if you're on a, a tight budget and you want that unlimited word count, this could be a decent option. So in terms of comparisons to the other ones, again, Typely probably didn't do as good a job of generating content as this. I think this did a pretty fair job. Um, AI SEO, it was not very good at generating content, but it was very good at paraphrasing and spinning. So if you're the type of content creator who likes to just take existing content, spin it into your own unique content, this was very good at doing that. So maybe check that out if that's more your scene. Only $49 for that one. Content Forge, I'm going to test that one out probably later in the week. Um, same with Flact, maybe um, next week. Word Hero is one that I haven't tested yet, but I'm keen because this one also has unlimited. This was probably the only other one that has unlimited words per month. And Kateb, very, very cheap at $29. So I'm keen to try this one as well. But I have links to all those in the description as well if you want to check those out. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.